time for a video using my older Casio camera that I hardly ever use because it's too thin. I'm going to make a video on Mrs. CW's computer because mine's not hooked up wirelessly. And I'm going to use my tripod. I'm not sure how Dutch Urban Miner makes his videos on the computer. If he uses a tripod or a stack of books, maybe he uses a stack of Bibles. So, make some adjustments here. Hmm, crunch. I think I'm going to put this on... Yeah, sure. Tissue box. Right there. Aldi's tissue box. The best tissues for the least price. They're recycled. I wonder how they get the sniggle out. What do we have here? This is on Los Angeles Craigslist. And for those not familiar with Craigslist, Craig Newmark put stuff on the computer for sale and he called it Craigslist. And now it's huge, especially on the West Coast in California. 19, can you see the cursor? Where is it? Way up here. 1997 Suburban 2500 6.5 diesel engine, government owned, 3995 Commerce, California. So we're going to open a new window on the top right, and we're going to copy and paste Commerce, California. You use your right, left, no, you use your left button, and you scroll with your, ah, too complicated. Copy and paste, let's see where Commerce, whoops, got to open a new window. Commerce, California, as otherwise it'll get rid of the old window when I try to go back, I'll lose my suburban because it might already be sold so the listing will stay on my computer but if I go forward it won't go backwards East Olympic Boulevard Commerce California Washington Boulevard District Boulevard Santa F Santa Ana Freeway number 5 and 710 Santa Ana must be in Los Angeles City of Huntington Park Pico Rivera over there can you see where my mouse is Minimize this a little bit more. Make the map bigger. Whoa. What do we got here? Maywood, Huntington Park, East Los Angeles. This is a Google map. Montebello Municipal Golf Course. Public golf course. So I'm trying to see where Commerce, California is. And it looks like Commerce, California is in East Los Angeles. So... Going back to this government-owned ex-fire truck. Diesel, electric everything, very low miles from County of... Oh, there we go. From County of Los Angeles Fire Department, government-owned, fleet-maintained, 4,000 plus tax and registration. Auction sales at twocoolpc.com. Here we are offering a 1997 GMC 2500. This truck is nice. It's equipped with a 6.5 HO. What's an HO? Maybe it's the non-emissions diesel engine, four-speed automatic transmission, electric door locks, electric windows, cruise control, electric seat, dual batteries. Well, they all have dual batteries, but that's an option on gas engines. The engine on this SUV is a 6.5 HO diesel, 153,000 miles, County Los Angeles. No dents, yeah, except the body's all cut up. It has never been involved in an accident. The SUV is clean, has a, utilizes a command center. This is why it has shells in the back from the battalion chief, can read the blueprints and instruct the firemen. We drove the truck and it drives great. Everything works excellent considering its age and miles. The third row is not included because of the command unit. The overall appearance of this truck is good. There are no major dents, but there are very minor pings and scratches as one would have to expect from a vehicle this age. The paint is in very good condition. There are places where it can be seen where the LAFD sticker used to be. The front fenders have rectangular holes in them where the emergency lights used to be. The second row seat has some rust marks on the fabric, as if something that was corroding was left on the back of it. This is very unusual. Maybe they had some criminal that had something stuffed off his bum that was corroding, like some uh, chemicals, some uh, cocaine that was corroding as it was oozing out of his buttocks. They just caught some guy in my local police, uh, my local sheriff's department had a whole bunch of stuff in his crack of his bum, and he was smoking some cigarettes and doing some pills in jail, had him stuffed in his buttocks. They can't search him because some woman complained about being searched, and they gave everybody a $1,000 award for being searched without reasonable cause. So this guy is now smuggling stuff into jail, and he can't be searched. Until, of course, he smoked it in jail. 
Also, the dashboard had the radios removed and holes were left empty. Considering this year, the truck looks great. Remember, this is a Southern California truck. There is no rust or corrosion anywhere on it. This truck has never been involved in any accidents. There is no smoking odors because no one has ever smoked in it, except at the fires. This is just simply not allowed. So I don't know if the pictures will load because oh, it's an old listing. i got to load each one, one at a time, then I have to go backwards. Well, tires are junk, and it looks like the suspension is rusty down here. Oh, yeah, hole in the fender, junk tires, needs tires and rims. I could live with that. Crappy pictures. Barn doors, big tailpipe. Huh, wonder if the bumper's a little crooked. Ford over here, cop car over here, looks like a police station. The guy that they caught with the drugs up his buttocks had been my electrician for a little while. Big dent over here. Some antenna maybe over there. He'd been an electrician for me. He was a professional electrician, but he was a lousy electrician. He did some work on the building that I had to redo, and the tenants were screeching at me, and I had a whole, all the electrical outlets in the kitchen all ripped apart. And I hired a professional electrician. I guess he was a drug dealer, really. It's got the um, PMD module located on a heat sink right in the middle of the picture. You can see my mouse mousing around. The air intake has the silencing tube to try to get rid of the 6.5 air intake noises. What other pictures? The air conditioning hose runs around the back of the engine over here. Probably has a whole bunch of electrical equipment that's been just cut off. They usually just hack things off. 6.5 turbo diesel. Here's half a picture. Didn't load properly, and I can't reload the pictures because if this thing is sold, it disappear. It's got power reclining passenger seat. It's got carpeting, not uh, rubber floor mats. It's got a brake pedal. I don't have a brake pedal cover. Fuse box over here, very nice. It's got the light switch, daytime running lights maybe. Our interior. Over limit, 152,000 miles. These pictures look like they're in low resolution. This vehicle was made in Mexico. Yes, keep your jobs in the USA. All the jobs that are in the Macaladeros on the border of the USA have sucked all the male life out of the Mexican towns. Holy cow, it's a kitchen cabinet. The guy wasn't kidding. They have sucked all the life out of the Mexican towns 100 miles away, and now they're big drug dealing towns, and all these guys are living on the border probably with lots of prostitution in these Mexican Macaladeros. What a disaster that free trade scam was. Free trade with Canada is one thing. It's a normal country like the USA, but free trade with Mexico? Big mistake. What was that? Power mirrors? Yeah, dual power mirrors, power windows, power locks. Red. Fire engine red. Door panels, electric mirrors. Yeah, guess the fire... Oh, needs a windshield. The windshield is delaminating. So this is the fire chief that's for sale. 2500 Did it say 4x4? Why do I think this is a two-wheel drive? Huh. Huh. Yeah, well, I don't see a front axle. Four-speed automatic transmission? You'd think that the fire truck would be a 4x4. I have a feeling this is a two-wheel drive. Then, yeah, two-wheel drive, junk. 3GN GC 26 F5 VG 12, oh boy, type MPV 1296. I think this is a two-wheel drive. Garbage. Oh yeah, there's the dash all cut out. Cruise control. Hmm. I wanted to make this video for the last few weeks, and I kept forgetting to do it. I luckily didn't delete it. Hit the corner of the bumpers all mangled. Two-wheel drive. Some of them have mechanical four-wheel drive levers on the floor. This one doesn't have it, and some have a little button on the dash, but I don't know what that option is. Electric four-wheel drive, I guess they would call it. Yeah, no four-wheel drive lever there. I don't believe it's a two-wheel drive. That's garbage. 
So, $4,000 for a two-wheel drive Suburban. And it looks like a coil spring on the front suspension, which makes it a two-wheel drive. And I think I saw that it had a little hub cover. There should be a big nut there. It's two-wheel drive. Now I don't care if I delete it. I'm going to refresh it over here and see what happens, see if it's already sold. Still for sale. No wonder. Junk. All right. So much for Commerce California. Just for shoots and giggles, I'm going to type in Google search 2011-03- Nope. Plus 4 by 4 plus Chevrolet plus diesel and whoop, I got D diesel. I'm up here in the top corner in the search box. Can you see that? Way there. Diesel 2001-03 plus 4x4 plus Chevrolet plus diesel space bar site colon Craig's list dot o r g I'm going to search for 4x4 four four suburban diesels and see what comes up I'm going to close this baby here because it's two wheel drive junk goodbye and let's see now 2001 got to be something from the 90s or 80s Duramax 85 Chevy 2006 1998 Eastern Shore sounds like Maryland diesel parts truck in Portland gone 1994 dump truck Boston rusted. I'm going to put California in here. Diesel plus California. Search. Oop, I forgot the word, the letter L. Diesel. Deezy. I'm dizzy. 204 Chevrolet. Here's a Chevrolet 4x4 differential. I spelled California wrong. I put the L in California. That's where it ended up. Nothing. Here's a 99 Silverado for $10,000 at a dealer. I hate these dealer ones. They always ask top dollar. Alright, I'm going to get in trouble from Mrs. CW. Enough of this playing games. Thanks for looking.